Hi, this is Jess Ernst, Clinical Educator for Keto Mojo. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set specific goals for your practice or for individual patients within your practice for the various metrics within the MyMojo Health Practitioner account. Setting goal ranges for the entire practice or goals for an individual user will provide useful information to the practitioner of the percentage of a time a patient is meeting their goals that are set for them. On the main dashboard, go up to the right-hand corner and click Settings. Under Settings, you have two different options to set goals. The first option is to click on Practice Goals. This will set goals for every patient that's within your practice. All patients connected to your dashboard will have the exact same goal range you set for them. An additional feature is the ability to set a specific patient goal, which is under user's goal. In this setting, you can choose one or multiple patients who you would like to set specific goals for. In either the practice or user goal settings, there is a list of metrics which you can choose a goal range for. Choose which metric or metrics that you would like to set the range for and then add a minimum or a maximum goal range and click Save Ranges for Users. When you return back to the main dashboard, you will now see that all of the ranges that you have set for either your practice or individual users are here. There is also the option to set goals on the main dashboard page instead of going into settings. In order to adjust the time and range goals for a user or a group of users, click the box to the left of the patient's name. Then go to Actions and click Edit Ranges. You will then see a pop-up screen, which is where you can edit the range goals for the individual or individuals that you chose in the exact same way that you did under Settings. After you have finished setting the ranges for your patients, you can now view the percentage of time that each user was in the goal range in the time interval that you chose. For example, for these users, in the past 28 days from 831.22 to 927.22, Joey has been within his glucose time and range goal for 57% of the time. He's been in his ketone goal range for 61% of the time in the past 28 days, and his GKI, or his glucose ketone index, has been 50% of the time in goal range. You can also view these percentages under Show Report in each individual's patient dashboard for a more detailed look into the percentage of the time in goal range. If you have any questions on how to set up a practice or patient goal ranges, please contact KetoMojo customer support at support at ketomojo.com.